got a new trailer for Transformers Rise of the Beast. This is actually my second attempt at a reaction to this trailer. Two minutes ago, I tried to do this and then my dog walked in. <laughs> opened the curtains, followed immediately by my daughter who walked in <laughs> with snack packages that she wanted me to open. So let's see if I can make it more than 20 seconds into the trailer this time. Stop. Trailer. Stop. You want it? Come in. Now, see, I already knew that because I just tried to do this reaction. For centuries, our kind has stayed hidden on Earth. But darkness has found us again. As always, Prime. Powers. This is about the fate of all living things. Unicron is coming. That's how the Twin Towers can be. <laughs> Back up! Oh, I thought we were boys! You want it? Come and get it! You brought a human here? I'm nobody. I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. Think you hold the lead when you haven't met the aim? Stop! Stop! This is not our war. Optimus, we must trust each other to protect the home we all share. How big can this guy be? Uh, he eats planets. So, like, way bigger than a planet. <laughs> Stop. Stop. In the end, everything you cared for will be consumed. Maybe there's another way to save our home. You've never faced anything like this. Let them come. Before I dive in and share my thoughts on the trailer, why don't you dive into the comment section and let me know what did you think about the trailer? Also, if you want to know my thoughts on the previous Transformers movies, I did a ranking back when Bumblebee came out, which is, was now like five years ago, but you can check that out somewhere up here. So what did I think about this new trailer for Transformers Rise of the Beast? Now, if you saw my thoughts on the previous trailer they put out, uh, my big criticism was essentially, it just looks like more Transformers stuff, which kind of is. <laughs> it's another Transformers movie, so naturally it's more Transformers stuff, but it, it didn't have enough of like something kind of unique in it. Um, that, well, okay, once again, there's new types of Transformers showing up. There's a new threat from our past that's going to destroy our future. And so we get this new trailer. And on the one hand, that's still essentially true of, once again, this is a threat greater than anything we've ever seen before. That's kind of how they've sold all of the Transformers movies, is that exact same sort of, it's bigger than ever. It's a bigger, it eats planets. That's kind of how they always promote these deals. Um, but I don't know. I think there was a lot of really cool shots in there. Like really cool. Whether the long takes, action poses, like whatever it was, just the handling of them seemed cooler than usual. That's a good sign. Likewise, Bumblebee, I, I mean, I think that might be the best of our... Uh, Transformers movies. I need to stop messing with that. Probably the best of our Transformers movies. And this one set 1994, kind of tying our timelines together, I suppose, what they're going for here. So it's set 15 years before 
over 10 issues before the the first movie in the series. And so it seems like they're, you know, bridging between those two. Maybe there's something to that. But a big part of what also made Bumblebee stand out to me is that it, it in, built into its fabric was that it was a, um, you know, boy and his dog, girl and his dog story about just kind of this girl that finds this thing and kind of pulls her life together. And I think that's c- helps these franchises kind of have a little more humanity to them when they or movies when they they do that. And when it's all just like gigantic spectacle, the world's going to end, but also silly jokes. It just makes for a very strange blend. And this one kind of had that. The world's going to end. Let's pause to make a joke. So um, I'm pretty much always pretty skeptical about these Transformers movies because there were so many of them that were just so overblown, bloated, lazy, cheap jokes, just spectacle, but like just nonsense plot. For like 10 years. So I, I go into these pretty skeptical. And I have to be won over. And I can't say that I've been won over yet. Also on this one, got to say, um, um, a buddy of mine who goes to a lot of test screenings saw this movie back in, I believe, December. So he saw it you know, six months before the movie came out. And he essentially said, that, yeah, it's kind of like just another Transformers movie. He didn't have much good to say about it. Granted... If you watch his Transformers movie six months before it comes out, there's a a larger percentage of incomplete shots. These are obviously VFX heavy movies. And so he it's kind of like watching the PlayStation 2 render version of a movie like that's it's not great. But he also didn't he just didn't have anything specifically positive to say about it. And, um, you know, Mr. Ramos, he wasn't it's not like he's bad, but he said he's not quite. He's not someone that necessarily can carry a movie of this size, was kind of the way he phrased it. So, kind of feeds into a little bit of my skepticism towards the project. But like I said at the beginning, there were quite a few shots that looked really cool. Think of that what you will. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. To share your thoughts down below, check out my other thoughts right over there, and keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.